Hi again, and welcome to Deeper Integration of Colabra Online. Come with me and let's customize and integrate Colabra Online within your application. Flexibility is key. There are a couple of ways to adjust cool to your needs from the interface to management options. In the following example, the new missing fonts handling, where you can configure any additional fonts via the JSON file. For more information, see Tor's presentation from yesterday. All this information and more you can find at sdk.collaboronline.com. But let's go through all of the main ways to customize and integrate Collabor Online. So starting with cool WST XML, a, a very simple XML file where you will find easy toggle options to enable and disable macros, integrations, experimental features, etc. You can also use that to set default options from the interface and other options related to for instance, allowed language. Some other parts can also be controlled by the integrator via the hidden input field. In here, you can see we can set the same toggle or the same values that we discussed previously within CoolWST, but now within the form send to the iframe where uh, Collabor Online lives within your application. Notice that we are also using that method to set custom CSS variables so we can achieve and adjust uh, the user interface according to our own application, as we saw early in the combination of these uh, screenshots. There are also another way that you can hack and test directly using your local build just by simply adding at the end of the URL. In this example here, we are testing a slightly different language with a different direction. And in the second example, we are using that URL and, and then adding a slightly different termination uh, so we can test uh, and set CSS variables. So this is a, a quick way uh, to test uh, how the things would look or would behave uh, before going ahead and uh, try uh, within the code itself. But this is just uh, scratching the surface. We have a lot of other options that you can use and abuse via the post message API. Be that inserting new buttons, hiding existing buttons, showing different buttons, removing buttons, elements, you name it, including, and I call your attention to the disable default UI, UI action, that allows you to prevent the default behavior of a particular UI element where only the post message, post message is sent and thus the client, your app in this case, can treat it as you please. Call, call Python script and others allows you, allow you to uh, run scripts that interact within the iframe in this case, uh, of course, the Collabor Online, the iframe where Collabor Online lives. Mentions, uh, it was also mentioned earlier yesterday uh, within the Julius Hartle uh, presentation um, from Nextcloud. Uh, we have also uh, a new message ID, UI mention, where you can. Uh, 
play a play around and implement uh, and use that to implement mentions uh, within uh, your application and the integration your integration from uh, Lab Online. Most important, have fun, test, hack new features. Be that using the latest development code edition, but do report bugs and keep in touch. There are also other options. Of course, it's impossible to cover everything within this uh, talk, uh, but you can set slightly different download options if you want to see the in the UI a drop down for the download or each option represented as an icon. Uh, thanks to uh, one and one uh, for this uh, implementation that we end up then to have it as default. A watermark option where you can set the text and opacity of how that watermark should look like. Uh, other integrations, I it is just an example uh, of uh, of a feature that you can enable and disable again via the cool WST. Thank you.